Twitch just announced one of the biggest policy updates for partners in years. It's been all over Twitter. People are chiming in, giving their take. And we thought it was important to break down what's happened and also how can you take advantage of it? Here's exactly what is going down. Pay attention to the first part of this, which is starting to date, you're now allowed to create live content on other platforms. So that is the big shift. Twitch historically has never allowed you to stream on other platforms that have been very much like a walled garden, you know, had this rep for being exclusive. That's changed, which is a big departure from how they've been treating us previously. But it's really important to call out some of the small print that you might have missed when you just read the headlines. And this part here says, to clarify, we do not allow simulcasting on web-based Twitch-like services that support streaming for extended periods of time, such as YouTube and Facebook. It's only on web-based platforms that you are not allowed to simulcast. So you cannot be on Twitch as a Twitch partner and stream on YouTube live at the same time or on Facebook Gaming Live. This is primarily opening up platforms like TikTok Live or Instagram Live. They specifically say that many of you want to use other services to grow your community. So simulcasting on short form mobile services such as TikTok or Instagram is allowed. So if you've already been creating a bunch of content on TikTok or a bunch of content on Instagram, you've built up an audience, it's an absolute no brainer for you to start simulcasting from these platforms. So you're probably wondering how to go live on Twitch and TikTok at the same time. Well, there are four different methods, three of which I would recommend and, and one I would try and avoid. We're gonna show you all of them today and you can choose the best one for you. The best method is if you have access to a TikTok stream key. Danny on the pipeline team is going to jump in and show us how to get set up on OBS if you have a stream key. So if you already have your OBS stream key, you're going to start by actually downloading a second version of OBS. And instead of starting by pushing one of these buttons here on the homepage, we're actually going to go down to download at the top and download a zip file. That's because we're going to make actual changes to the file. Once you have this downloaded to your desktop, you're going to see three files from there. It's going to be Ben data and OBS plugins. We are going to click on the Ben file. It's going to open up one like this and we're going to see 64 bit we're going to double click that one and we're going to scroll down so we see the obs 64 application file which is this one right here we are going to right click and we are going to go to create a shortcut now once the created shortcut is going to pop up we are going to once again right click and we are going to go to properties and we want to focus here where it says target now at the end of this we are actually going to change this file um, by doing a space space and then we are going to type dash dash portable. Once you have that done, make sure you didn't put a space after portable. We're going to go ahead and hit apply and then OK. And then we're going to take the shortcut and put it directly on our desktop. And since we already have another version of OBS, we're going to go ahead and rename this. So from here, we're going to go ahead and actually change uh, to our recommended settings for streaming on TikTok. So the first thing we're going to actually go to is the stream button here, which you notice is going to say services Twitch. We are going to change this to custom. And this is where we're going to put the information we're going to pull from the TikTok side later. Next is going to be output. You're going to want to go to output mode and actually change this to advance. Uh, this is going to give you more options and you're going to want to take a look at these. So we're going to leave the encoder on this at X264 and go down to our rate control. Make sure that's set at CBR. Our bit rate should be at 5000. Now, if you encounter any kind of stuttering or buffering issues while you're streaming, you can reduce this down to 4500 or even 4,000 if need be. Uh, everything else here, we're gonna leave the same. So we're gonna head ahead and hit apply. We're gonna go to video. And from here, we're gonna change our aspect ratio because we are gonna be on TikTok. This is going to be 1080 by 1920. Now on output, you have two options here. You can stream at 720 by 1280, uh, which is 720p, or you can stream at 1080 by 1920, which is 1080p. Uh, this really has to do with your own personal preference and what you believe that your setup is capable of streaming. The next thing is FPS. Make sure you have that set to 30, and we're gonna go ahead and hit apply. 
and OK. And as you can see, that's changed our aspect ratio of our screen. OK, so from here, we're going to have to set up our webcam so that we're able to cast it not only on our Twitch OBS, but also on our TikTok site as well. And we're going to use OBS virtual camera for this. We're going to go to our existing webcam and we're going to right click and go to filters. Once we're in the filters, we're going to hit the plus there and we are going to go all the way down to virtual camera. We're going to go ahead and call this uh, face cam because that's what it is. And hit OK. And from here, under target camera, we're going to choose the camera we want. So we haven't set up any OBS virtual cameras yet. So we're going to go ahead and do just the original one. So once you have everything set up on your Twitch streaming OBS, we're going to go back to TikTok and we are going to hit plus and do a video capture device. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and leave it as the name it is. Now it's going to automatically open up properties for you. And in here, we are going to choose the same OBS camera that we set up on our Twitch site. And then you can go ahead and adjust this to whatever you feel is better for your, your stream over on TikTok. Okay, so once we have everything set up on our cam side, we are going to head back over to our Twitch side and set up our game capture. So we're not going to actually do a game capture. We are going to do a display capture to be able to capture the game for TikTok just because we cannot have two instances of game capture open at the same time. Uh, so we're going to come in here and do the same thing as before. We're going to go to filters. We're going to go to add virtual camera and we're going to name this one game slash display. So we know what this one is. Hit OK. And since we already use OBS camera, we're going to switch over to to OBS camera two for this one and make sure that we are selecting that start button again. Once back over on our TikTok OBS side, we're going to add another video capture device. And just like before, we're going to rename this to display game. And we're going to choose the same camera we did on the other side for our OBS camera, which was two. So this is going to go ahead and pull in our game. From here, you can resize the game. The last thing you're going to need to do on your TikTok OBS side is set up your audio device. OK, so this is where you're going to get your stream key and your information to go live. So we're going to hit the go live button right here. And once we do this, we're going to have some options that we're going to want to set up, including our title and our game. Once you have that ready, you're going to hit the go live button, which is here. And this is where you're going to get your stream URL and then your stream key. So you're just going to hit copy on these. We're going to come back into our TikTok OBS and we're going to copy and paste the streamer key and the server information right into the stream section of OBS. Once you put this in there, you want to hit OK. And at this point, you want to hurry and hit the start streaming button. Um, that is because you have a limited amount of time between when you get the cutoff, uh, when you start streaming on, t on the TikTok side and when you do start streaming on the OBS side. So you want to be kind of quick about it. Most creators don't have access to a TikTok stream key just yet. It's an unlimited rollout. And the only way to get one is if you have a contact at TikTok that will give you one, or if you're working with an agency that has partnered with TikTok. So my company Pipeline has partnered with TikTok and we can help Twitch partners get access to the stream key on TikTok. You can look at the description to find out how to do that if you are a Twitch partner. The second way is just putting your phone on your desk, going to TikTok app, and live streaming directly from the TikTok app, pointing at yourself while you're live on Twitch. I don't recommend this. It's not very engaging. And a lot of people in TikTok actually complain that, oh, like no one's paying attention here. So they just kind of churn out and fall out. Next up, Ravage on the pipeline team is going to share how to get set up on TikTok live if you don't have a stream key and you have a dual monitor setup. The first thing you want to do is to get a small tripod or something to be able to prop your phone up on. It's on your OBS while you're streaming. You can go to the side of the frame and you can right click and then you'll get a list of options here. The thing you're going to want to do is go to your full screen projector and select the monitor that you want for your windows to be full screen in. So we're going to go ahead and select that. It's going to make this take up the entire screen and your phone's going to get, if it's positioned correctly, it's going to get a nice view and a high quality view of your stream to be able to restream the TikTok. Now, if you only have a single monitor, and you have no stream key, the best way to go live on TikTok is this, but you must have 8K followers. This method also requires you to have Discord installed on your phone and your PC. We're gonna be using OBS as a virtual camera, which simulates OBS as a webcam source. First thing we're gonna do is click start virtual camera in the bottom right hand of the OBS screen. Next, we're gonna to go to Discord and make sure that our video camera source is our OBS virtual camera. Click settings, 
go to voice and video to make sure that it's selected. Make your own private Discord channel or server so that others don't join. Join the Discord channel on your phone on a separate account and watch the stream in full screen on your phone. Go to TikTok and go to live, select mobile gaming stream. Now, I really encourage that you take advantage of this, whether you have an audience already on TikTok or Instagram, or you just want to take advantage of the fact that they are boosting live content in both of these platforms pretty aggressively. Just start going live and testing it out. You now have the ability to do that. Again, if you are a Twitch partner and you're still trying to get access to a stream key, fill out the form in the description and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.